Hey guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com. Back out here talking about Lowrance Live Site. Gonna go over some of the features, some of the settings issues that I found to really clean up your system. Now, number one palette setting, or I should say the standardized stock palette setting is gonna be palette number one from Lowrance. It's what they recommend as being kind of the standardized one, the best one that they have. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna kind of agree to this. We've got the sensitivity turned up here to 93%, and what we're doing, we're seeing a bunch of fish out here. We are in a lake that has a lot cleaner water. We probably got, I don't know, what do you guys think? Four, or five foot visibility, probably? So a lot better than the two inches we had on El Dorado Lake, our home lake, from all the rains and stuff. Wow, well, dang, that fish is really moving there. Um, more than likely, hybrids, white bass, we're on a lake that has a ton of them in there. But wanted to showcase what the live site actually shows. So. We're in roughly 14, 15 feet of water. I'm gonna aim this thing out a little bit deeper so it's gonna turn here on us. Move us out a little bit. Now we're starting to pick up a heck of a lot more of this fish. So originally on some videos that we had, again, super chocolate milk, super water, we weren't seeing fish very far away. Now we're starting to show some fish that 20 foot, 25 foot range, which is where most of us when we're casting are gonna to wanna to see. You don't necessarily wanna see stuff directly below the boat unless you're vertical jigging. Now again, we do not have this meant or mounted to do vertical jigging off the trolling motor, but some of the settings that I really enjoy, really like having on this unit, I'm gonna run this in custom mode because I wanna be 30 feet away. There's some fish pretty far away. There's some structure down there along the bottom. I've got this set to 20 feet deep, and that is on auto in terms of depth. But again, the range far away from the boat, I've got that set at 30. When I go to auto and it adjusts to 70, it shows a lot of stuff further out. It's not as bad. I don't feel it's as defined. I wanna be a little bit closer. Basically what I can be in a cast and be able to reach and see easily. We got some fish along the bottom there, some structure. So gonna go back to that custom mode. One of the things I'm gonna do is go into advanced here. We've got noise rejection and surface clarity, just like you have on 2D sonar. I like the noise rejection set to low and I like the surface clarity set to medium. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna play with the sensitivity. How much sensitivity can I add without gaining a ton of clutter? Which we're kind of getting some static stuff, but we're still seeing the fish pop up there, which is what I like. So we're at 96. Let me take a little bit of that clutter away. We're at about 92 and I lost a fish. Let's go up to 93 there. Spin this around, see what we can see. Not back shallow. Let's go back out deep. The thing that you're gonna to wanna to play with the most here is the sensitivity because you're gonna to wanna to remove a lot of that clutter that you're traditionally seeing on there, just like you would on your 2D sonar. Now this color palette's directly relating to the 2D sonar. If we go back to more options, go to palette. We've got palette number two. This is gonna be extremely similar to the Garmin Panoptics original Panoptics type system here, color palette. Palette number three, it's more of a, a bluish green color. It looks a lot more cluttered to me. Also looks harder to find a harder bottom. We've got the copper color here, which I think is way better in murky water or with a lot of silt. Um, wow, there's some fish streaking, chasing shad right there. Holy cow, some shad just died. That was awesome. I'll have to have, make sure Aaron puts that in the video. And then palette number five is probably one more of my favorite color combinations because I think you can see more definition. You can see the harder bottom that we're on here move us away from the bank just a little bit. And then back to number one again, that stock color feature that Lowrance kind of recommends stock out of the box, their number one feature. So again, guys, not a lot of, of things you can play with in terms of sensitivity, contrast, and things like that. But I'll be honest, I think that's better in the long run to have sometimes less is more because the more settings you have to adjust, you can really get some stuff out of whack. I think this actually simplifies it. Lowrance always claims to be one of the more simpler units to use. And I think with this live site, with some of the options they got to be able to adjust, they, they did just that. So, so guys, if you have any questions, just reach out to us, sales at russellmarineproducts.com or post up in the comments. Appreciate you guys checking us out.